Hey you guys, it's Whitney and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing part 5, I believe, of my Messy to Minimal series here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be a little bit different though. I'm going to be tackling some of the smaller areas in my home. We're going to be decluttering a hallway closet, going through my freezer, and going through some cabinets in my kitchen. I'm also going to be doing a ton of deep cleaning in today's video. I'm going to be going through my closet and doing some decluttering and organizing in there. And I'm also going to share really cute Valentine's Day baskets for your kids if you guys need some ideas on what to get your littles for Valentine's Day. So stay tuned for that. I hope that you guys are ready. This video is packed full of tons of motivation and I'm very excited to be here today with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me that you were here today and we are actually going to get started on my hallway closet. It is winter time here in West Virginia, and so our hall closet gets a little discombobulated pretty often just because we're constantly in here pulling out jackets and boots and hats and gloves and all of that stuff. So we are going to get this tackled today and get it functioning a little bit better for my family. We're gonna be getting rid of some jackets that don't fit, some sweatshirts and all of that. But before we get started and get through the decluttering portion, I'm going to completely clear out the closet. You guys know I love to do this whenever I'm decluttering just so I can see a fresh clean slate in front of me. We're going to be cleaning the floor in here and just getting this freshened up for the winter time. I had started to vacuum the closet and then I realized how dirty the wall was so I tried to scrub it down with a magic eraser. The problem is we have flat paint on the inside of our closet so they're a little bit harder to wipe down but I think I did a good job for the most part and once I've kind of cleared out the closet and I vacuumed down this little shoe holder we're gonna go through all of the jackets we had a lot that didn't fit especially the little ones um, a lot of sweatshirts and stuff that no longer fit them as well um, and I got this question on my last video about why I was donating some of Savannah's stuff when we have another little girl a great question and I wanted to answer it here in the video if you guys maybe were wondering the same we actually have so I have an aunt and she has a daughter that is Barrett's age and she gives a lot of clothes to us for Savannah because they're about two sizes apart so she just gives us all of her hand-me-downs and then we have them for Savannah the next year but with that she has a ton of clothes and so we just have an overabundance of things and the last bit of clothes she gave to us they were actually a size that savannah was already in and so i had a ton of clothes i didn't really know what to do with them all maddie's not going to need that many clothes to begin with so i went ahead and decluttered what i could and kept what i thought maddie could wear in that season depending or based off of what sizes she's been in um, so i just wanted to clear that up a little bit if you guys were confused as to why i was decluttering some of savannah's things that is the reason
I went ahead and bagged up all of those clothes and don't worry, I was not throwing them away. I just put them into trash bags to bring them to donation. It's just easier. I never have spare boxes laying around. So I went ahead and did that and then we're gonna move into the kitchen and get some decluttering done in here. I'm going to be going through my Tupperware drawer that you see right here and then I have that little drawer in the bottom of the oven that I needed to clean out as well. And you'll see my little helper here throughout the entire video. I am a mom to three, two of which I have at home with me. So whenever I'm doing these projects, I do have kids roaming around. It's just part of life. So you will see them throughout the entire video, but I'm just going to take a few moments and tackle this. And I figured while I'm doing this, I'd go ahead and introduce myself. If maybe you guys are relatively new to my channel, my name is Whitney. I am a 30-year-old wife and mom to three little ones, and my husband and I live in West Virginia. And here on my channel, you will see all things cleaning, decluttering, and organizing, a little bit of home decor sprinkled throughout as well, but I am trying to be more minimal in my home. So that is the reason for this series. I'm wanting to take a step further into minimalism and just live a more simple life. So I figured I would take you guys throughout the journey, and I would love to have have you hit that subscribe button today and join the family and I really want to encourage you to leave a comment down below saying hi so that I can welcome you to my channel. I was influenced to buy this steam shot. I've seen a few YouTubers use it. I know Jamie's Journey has one. I've seen her use them in her videos quite often, but I see it a lot on TikTok and I just really wanted one. So I was very excited to use this. I feel like it does a phenomenal job at getting all of the like nooks and crannies and I'm just so excited about this I really want to actually gift one to one of you guys very soon so stay tuned for a giveaway I'm going to be doing that this month on my channel um, because I think everybody should have a steam shot I think it's the coolest thing ever um, we actually use this on our downstairs toilet we do have a little boy and so things get a little grody in there and it worked so well um so again stay tuned for that because i'm wanting to do more giveaways on my channel this year it's something that i'm really trying to do um you guys know i give like coffee money every now and then but i really want to do actual like gifts just a way to say thank you because you guys seriously are amazing you're some of the most incredible people that i've been lucky to quote unquote meet here um virtually meet some of you guys so it's just been a wonderful journey um but now that we are done with this we are going to move on to the freezer and get this gone through I really just needed to kind of organize this and get rid of expired food. So I'm gonna take a few moments and tackle the freezer.
show you guys the freezer real quick. I mean, it's not Pinterest worthy and beautiful, but it is organized and that's all that matters. Up here I have all of our like fruit and vegetables. Um, here I have like quick bite type things. I have like some ravioli, some chicken nuggets, french fries, things like that. Um, these are all of Maddie's frozen stuff. So I have like her little sides that she eats, some breakfast options, um, and like her meatballs and mac and cheese. And then down here is all of our breakfast stuff. Really we just have french toast sticks, um, pancakes, and some hash brown potatoes. And then on the side, I just put the ice cream, and then we have all of like our cold packs and like teethers and things like that on the side. But again, it's not beautiful and Pinterest looking, but it is functional, and I can see kind of what I have in here instead of everything just kind of being jam packed in. Now that I've done most of the deep cleaning in the kitchen, I do still have the microwave to tackle, but you guys will see that here in just a little bit. But I'm going to go through and clean the kitchen. I really just wanted to get it done on this day. It was starting to bother me. Um, honestly, I've been feeling a little bit burnt out. I've been decluttering and decluttering and decluttering this month. You guys know I feel like I've been manic posting here on YouTube and just doing so much. I was starting to feel it. It was starting to catch up with me. Um, I did take a few days just to kind of like mellow out before I tackled my house and this is when I started filming. And with the decluttering came a lot of like not only physical exhaustion because it is a lot to go through your entire house, but also emotionally exhausting. Um, I am somebody who struggles with sentimental things um, and I actually came across a video that I would love for you guys to go watch because I think if you're wanting to become a minimalist, I think this is a great video to watch kind of before you start. Um, the girl who posted the video the channel is a to zen life and she posted a video about the dark side of minimalism and how decluttering quote unquote ruined my life and i really resonated with this video but mainly the point that she talked about um she had said decluttering too fast can be an issue and one of like the dark sides to being a minimalist and I could not agree more. So a lot of times you will see people um, decluttering really quickly and maybe they're not emotionally ready to do that and eventually they will declutter their whole house and then they'll realize that they wish they hadn't gotten rid of something and you'll see this a lot <clears throat> and I feel like with minimalism at least for me I feel like I compare myself to a lot of people like oh this person has way less than me like I feel like my house should look like that but minimalism is a very relative term it can look different for everybody and so she was talking about how people declutter too fast or maybe they're not ready to declutter and I struggled with this in my last video. I decluttered my girl's room and I didn't show it on camera but I actually broke down and cried because I didn't feel ready. I didn't feel ready to get rid of some of the baby stuff. Um, I have of course sentimental attachment to it. I'm not like ready to be done having kids even though I really should be and so I decided to keep some of that stuff because I can always go back and declutter it. I can't have it back if it's something that I really wanted but I can always in a year from now if I know I'm done having kids I can go back and declutter it later when my heart is ready and when I'm ready to do it because right now my heart is not ready to get rid of all of Maddie's little baby things and that's okay. It's okay not to completely declutter your entire house in one sitting. It's really important to take baby steps and do it when you're ready. You don't have to like go crazy and get rid of everything. So if you're wanting to become a minimalist, I really, really want you guys to go watch that video because she touched on some really 
great topics. That was just one that really resonated with me and one that I really struggled with. I'm going to finish wiping down the kitchen and then I'm going to share these really cute syrup bottles by the brand Molly Molly. Now this video is not sponsored but they did gift these to me to share with you guys and I actually have a coupon code for you guys as well that I will leave here on the screen and of course I will link it down below for you guys as well but how cute are these? It comes with a ton of different syrup um, different options that you can put on the bottles and I only have hazelnut and vanilla so that is what I'm going to use here but they look really nice over on my coffee bar and I think that they're just super cute so I wanted to share them with you guys if you guys are interested in checking out Molly Molly I will have them linked down below Once we're done in the kitchen, I'm actually going to move upstairs into my bedroom and get some cleaning done in here. I'm going to make the bed and just do some quick tidying up. And I'm also going to be tackling my office in just a minute and doing some just light decluttering and organizing in there and just getting everything cleaned up.
All right, we're gonna move into my office. Like I was saying, I really wanted just to get some cleaning done in here. This is definitely a space in my house that gets neglected, even though it's where I spend a lot of my time because I do work a lot. Um, but it just, it's kind of in the corner of our bedroom. The door is always closed and I never have to look at it. So it just stays this way. But I really wanted to take a few moments and just go through everything and even do a little bit of organization in the drawer and just kind of get things tidied up in here and functioning a little bit better for myself. I love a clean space, especially to work in, and so I'm trying to be a little bit better at making sure this area is clean, especially when I go to work. All right, so my office isn't perfect, but it's functioning. I think eventually we're gonna get a new desk in here and maybe a chair and just make it a little bit more comfortable for me. Um, but I did my best to kind of like tidy up as much as I could. This like basket is full of all of Barrett's stuff he's done this year. And at the end of the school year, I'll go through it and like save what I want to save. I have all of my books that I've read that I have hard copies of over here. And then these couple I still need to read. Down here, I just have some like sentimental things that mean something to me. This is a box that my brother got me from Spain, actually. Um, so I just have all of that displayed here like little Savannah's handprint and stuff. So I have all of that here. These are all coupons that I need to use very soon. And then all of these are books that my good friend lent me that I still need to read so I can give them back to her. So I put them there. That way they're kind of in my line of sight and I can remember to read them. I have been a Kindle girl lately and reading on my Kindle a lot. So I tend to forget all of the hard copies that I have. And then in here, I just put all of my Sharpies. I have some push pins, my headphones that I use for editing. Um, and then over here I have, ah, I have all of my pens and highlighters for like when I write my planner and stuff like that for work. But yeah, like I said, it's not perfect. It's not like the most beautiful looking office ever, but it functions for me. I love working in here. It's kind of my like little space, if you will. Um, but I do plan on eventually just kind of like freshening things up in here. I wanted to quickly share these really cute Valentine's Day baskets with you guys if maybe you need an idea for a friend or for a kid or even a spouse. Um, and everything I got was from the Valentine's Day section at Target and then the baskets themselves are from the Target dollar spot. They also have some really cute Valentine's Day stuff in the Target dollar spot as well, but mine was pretty much picked through when I went back to grab some stuff. But I thought these turned out really cute. You guys know I love my little gift baskets for my kids and I figured I would share them with you guys if maybe you needed some ideas. 
after I'm done sharing these, I'm actually going to finish off the bedroom by vacuuming and that is actually going to end today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you leave my channel feeling motivated and inspired to get some cleaning done in your home today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys!